What is happening guys? My name is Mike. I want to welcome you back to my channel, Modern Man TV. I'm very glad to be back with you guys. I took a little bit of a break last week because I've been cranking out a ton of videos lately, but I'm back with you guys today with an all new product review. This is a brand that's not only been highly requested, but been the subject of my own curiosity for a while now. Today, we are gonna take a look at four products from the Patrick's hairline. And before we begin, let me just tell you, there is so much about this brand that it's been pretty hard for me to try and cram everything that I found into one video. But I'm gonna do my best for you. I'm really excited to show you this video. Let's get going. Now, before we start the review, I do have to admit one thing. When I first came across these products on their website and I saw the price tag of just one of them, I had the initial thought to myself, there is no way they are gonna be worth that price. However, I have seen a lot of things recently on Facebook and on the channel about the brand and honestly, my curiosity just got the better of me. So I ordered the M2. And when the package arrived, I was very excited to see that there was some extras in there along with a letter from Patrick himself and he sent me the M3, the shampoo and the conditioner, specifically to use in a video. The first thing I wanna mention in this video is the shipping and unboxing. When I first placed my order from their website, I was anticipating that it was gonna take a while to get to the United States, but when I ordered from the Patrick's website, I was pretty impressed. It actually only took a little over a week for it to actually arrive on my doorstep. And when the package arrived, I wasn't just only impressed by the extras and the letter that was included, but I was really impressed by the packaging and the presentation of the products themselves. I mean, it's a little bit depressing to say, but these products have more features than my car. Each product is encased in a 2.64 ounce metal and plastic box that is nothing short of a piece of art. From the perfect proportions based on the Fibonacci sequence, to the perfectly sized rounded corners, to the 007 tribute in every barcode, and the double lock latch and rubber gasket. This product has everything, including my initials stamped in the corner. So we can conclude that these products look awesome, but do they work as well as they look? and are they worth the money? Let's start by taking a look at the M2. The Patrick's M2 has a ton of features packed into one perfectly proportionate box. It features a medium hold and matte finish with an amazing custom bergamot and sandalwood scent. It also contains the Patrick's recovery compound that targets hair loss prevention, hair growth, scalp health, and UV protection. It's designed for short to medium hair or thick hair. And for those who want to see the ingredients, here's a look at that. The product itself scoops out very easy and creamy and actually breaks down with a feeling of a little moisture in the hand. Let's take a look at the M3 now. This is their matte finish and stronghold product that contains kale and clay. This product is designed to offer a higher hold than the M2, but it contains a lot of the same awesome features like a custom fragrance and the same recovery compound ingredients that are in the rest of the line. And just like the M2, the M3 scoops out like butter. It's slightly thicker to scoop and break down, but overall it comes out and breaks down extremely easy. Let's turn our attention to the shampoo and conditioner, which currently only come in this convenient travel size. The bottles are just as classy as the others shown today, and the products themselves are full of great benefits like deep cleansing and conditioning while stimulating the scalp and protecting your hair. To take a look at this shampoo, I'm going to start with some product left over in my hair from the previous day. What I first noticed about this shampoo was the way it cleaned. It doesn't get really bubbly like some others I've had, but it does begin to feel slick and you can feel the leftover product begin to break up as you work it in your hair and it leaves it feeling very clean. Same with the conditioner. I found it to be perfect for those conditioner mohawks and to leave your hair feeling very smooth. Here is a look at my hair just after using the shampoo and conditioner with no added oil or pre-stylers. We're going to style first with the M3. As you can see, it goes in very easy and is a little different from the other clays I featured on the channel. This one provides texture, but mostly remains very slick in the hair when it comes to styling, but still leaving room for volume. Going back to clean hair, we're going to try out the M2. I actually found this one to have a few different methods of use that worked for me, and we're starting with using it as a regular post styler. It goes in very similar to the M3 as it's moist and slick entering the hair, but once you begin styling, you will feel a slight grippy, but not quite sticky feeling, allowing you to shape and style with nice comb lines or a messier texture. 
Now let's start over one more time and check this out as a pre-styler. After throwing some in damp hair and blow drying, I found that it left my hair with a little bit of volume and a mostly nice and slick feel to it that honestly could be left alone with no further product added. But of course, we're going to see what else we can get here. So here's a look at a few different styles I was able to achieve with using this product as a pre and post styler. Now that we've taken a full look at these products, it's time for my final thoughts. This line has had some serious thought put into it. There has been no stone left unturned in my opinion based on the design of the packaging, the formulas and sense of the products themselves, and the overall presentation. In the end though, this is really one of those things that you have to just get in your hand and experience in order to understand it. Patrick's has really gone the extra mile to make their products not just about the style, but about the overall experience. I mean, really, just picking up one of these products will make you feel like Matthew McConaughey in one of those Lincoln commercials. You know what I'm talking about, the ones where he's just driving around in his car at sunset and he just kind of gives you that look like, that's a big bull. The M2 was really cool to style with. I really liked how one product can produce so many different styles just by doing a couple of different things differently, like pre-styling or using a comb, for example. It can do messy, high volume, clean cut, fringe, whatever you want, and then it washes out with water. The M3 I thought was very similar to the M2, but I felt like it had a little more texture and hold to it. And overall it works really well in my hair, so I'm gonna continue to use that for sure. The shampoo and conditioner also produced really good results for me. I was really glad to see that it wasn't like some of the other shampoos I've recently tested that makes my hair feel frizzy or fried, but it was still able to give me a deep cleanse and remove the product that was in there. I haven't tried the other products in the line yet, but I really hope to in the future and provide you guys with another video update on those. If you guys wanna check out the Patrick's line, I will put a link to their website in the description down below. While you're there, don't forget to drop me a like and a comment, let me know what you thought of the products showcased today. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts for new and additional content. Thanks again for stopping by my channel. I'll be back with you guys again really soon with an all new video. I'll see you guys next time.